Hey friends, Brian here. So um, I'm gonna do a video today and show you how much electricity this mini split behind me uses. Before we get started, remember to like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos, and click the little bell icon to get an email when I release a new video. So these mini splits are supposed to be really efficient and this is an inverter model. Um, I need to kick it up all the way to full speed in order to find out what it really draws at full speed. And then we're gonna open the panel and we're gonna check it. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run this thing down all the way to 64. All right. And it'll display that on the thing for a second before it gets turned off. And that'll cause the system to spool up. So let's go outside and see what it really draws. All right, so here we are. We're out at the panel and the unit. Now, this unit is rated for a 13 and a half amp draw with, um, you know, and you can hear, this is a really, really quiet unit. So let's see what it really does. Now, I have some other reasons I need to be in this box. I'm still trying to plan the installation of my bigger unit. So let me get this set up and I'll be right back. So if you're not comfortable with electricity, don't open the panel. I do this on a regular basis. Sometimes the screw will stick in here and uh, don't be fooled, it will jump out just as soon as it has an opportunity. So always keep a close eye on it. All right. So that's our mini split. And we're gonna take our E-Tech city meter and we'll put it in two to 20 amp mode and just see what it does. So it's drawing six and a half amps and I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see. That is what an inverter does for you. So that's about a 600 watt draw in cooling mode and it's running at full speed at the moment. So that's about as bad as it gets. Um, this is a one ton mini split and this is how you figure out what they do. So it's not the reason I was in here, but that's your answer. Now something kind of funny happened. I went in and turned it down to 74 degrees. It was at 65, so it should have throttled down. It's actually drawing seven and a half amps now. That's still only 800 watts for one ton of cooling. That's more efficient than the label says it is. And that's what's beautiful about inverter mini split systems is they just speed up and slow down as they need to. And uh, now this system is really my backup or my auxiliary system. So if we were to have a power outage, I would go to this system and a, gen a generator could easily run uh, that machine. And that's why I put it in. At the moment, uh, and I don't want that, I don't want that tight. I want to be able to get that loose with a screwdriver, by the way. At the moment, uh, my central system is down. That's a whole separate series of videos. And if you're interested in the E-Tech City Meter, um, see my review of that. I did that uh, today as well. It'll get posted. And uh, thanks for watching.